Greetings, hi, the War Owl greets you, and welcome to How to Play Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This time, we're going to be looking at perspective. This will cover how the camera works in CSGO, so you can be wary of where your player model is, when you can see an enemy, and when an enemy can see you. The first question to ask is, where is the player's camera? Where are the player's eyes? Now, you might say on either side of the player's nose. But that's just the model, and you're a smartass. In video games, there's a specific point that defines where the player's camera is, or where their view is. To find it, we go to our test map. Walking along the border of this slope, I stop when the top plane looks completely flat to me. That height is where my camera is. You can see how the fancy orange squares in the texture line up at this point, to four squares tall. Each of the squares is exactly 16 units, by 16 units. So the player's camera is 64 units tall. I love square numbers. How elegant. Having a player stand at this height, we can see that the camera does indeed come out of the player's head, but depending on the animation. Some weapons cause the player to lean forward more, making the camera come out of his forehead. But some have the player more upright, with the camera coming out of his chin. This also depends on what side you're on. For example, terrorists lean forward when knifing, making them shorter and more difficult to hit from behind. Whereas counter-terrorists do not, they stand upright. It's difficult to keep mindful of all of these little nuances. But wait a minute, I can shoot over the thing. That means that when we shoot, the bullets come out of the player's camera, his eyes, and not his gun. Talk about a piercing gaze. This means when you can see an enemy's face, they can shoot you, regardless of where their gun is. Now let's talk about corners. One thing you'll experience many, many times every single round is trying to shoot an enemy around a corner. The question is, who is visible first, and how can you manipulate your movement and position to give yourself the advantage? The first thing you need to think about is, Am I visible? Remember that the camera comes from a single point, and there's all this manly bulk around the sides, meaning that sometimes, even though you can't see them, they can see you. Some players get really frustrated, wondering how a player saw them, and claim that there's some kind of cheating going on. This is what is called the ostrich effect. The ostrich is so stupid, it will stick its head in the sand, thinking that if it can't see you, you can't see it. Don't be an ostrich, continue watching this tutorial. You are now furiously typing on your keyboard in the comments section, explaining that ostriches don't actually do that. You're right, they don't. It's a way to explain something, get over yourself! The fact of the matter is, the closer you are to a corner, the more it obstructs your vision. The goal is to be as far away from the corner as possible, and for your enemy to be as close as possible. This will give you a distinct advantage, especially when players are walking or moving slowly. You'll see them before they see you. To prove it, let's go back to our test map. If I stand directly next to this corner, I can't see the outlet. The corner is blocking my vision. From the outlet's perspective, I am very, very visible. If we both are standing at the same distance from the corner, we'll see each other. This is a fair fight. In Counter-Strike, never put yourself in a fair fight. Always strive to get the advantage. So here's a practical example. Let's say that I know there's a player right around this corner at long A on Dust 2. I want to kill him, but I want to do it silently, so I'm holding Shift. If I turn the corner when I'm very close to the corner, I give him a huge advantage. He will see me before I see him. If I walk as far back as possible and peek slowly, or at least farther back than I think he's standing, I'll see him before he sees me, allowing me to pick him off quite easily without him knowing what's going on. If you have to turn a corner up close, don't do it slowly. You pretty much have to go out fast. Run out there in order to get past the point where they can see you and you can't see them. In contrast, when you have the advantage, when you are further away from the corner than your enemy is, it's better to move slowly. Now, that example at, at long A was a little bit silly because who stands there? It's a bad place to stand. You don't have any cover. Players will try to get some kind of cover, and we can think of cover as pretty much just another corner that's closer to them. This is where we come across the concept of two 
corners. Most situations will devolve into two corners. Each player has a corner to manipulate. There are areas on the map where players can't move far back enough away from their corner. These are the ideal areas to engage an opponent. A great example of this is when holding off a push at long. If you stand as close as possible to your corner, and they stand as close as possible to their corner, you'll both be visible at the same time. However, they don't have the room that you do. They don't have the space you have to manipulate. So if you stand further away from your corner, you'll see them first because they are forced to be close to their corner. They can't move back. Manipulating of your position can give you a huge advantage. The next thing to look out for seems very simple, but many players are not constantly mindful of this in practice. Don't let your gun stick out from around a corner. Here's the player model looking at you. Notice how much horizontal space you have to deal with without being seen. Now let's look at it when you're facing sideways. Depending on the gun that you're using, you can really give away your position and look like a major derp. Be careful when standing by a corner so that your weapon does not show. Sometimes it is better to look at an awkward angle or to take a few steps backwards to ensure that your gun is not giving away your position. Sometimes your weapon can even clip through thin walls. Always be mindful of your player model and what's below your player model. Look down. You can't see yourself. The other thing you can't see is your shadow. Shadows play a huge role in peeking corners. Sometimes you do everything right, but still, your shadow is visible, giving away your position, and you question, how did he know I was there? In every map, shadows go in the same direction. Light from the sun is simulated by just having light come from certain angles, regardless of the position of the player. This means that you need to keep constantly mindful of where your shadow is, even though you don't see it. Here's a good way to learn it on every map, and it may make sense to do this on every round if you need to, to, to learn it. Look at where the shadows are on your teammates and spawn. Notice the direction that they are and how far they extend. Remember that and keep mindful of it at all times. Think, if I peek this corner, will my shadow be visible? If the enemy is going to turn around the corner I'm looking at, will their shadow be visible? Should I look out for their shadow? Then remember that and just keep mindful of it. That may seem like a tall order, but nobody said this game was easy. Shadows are just one of the many things you have to constantly think about, and as well as your perspective and your positioning and all of these things. If you've lowered your graphical settings, always make sure to keep shadows on, or as high as possible. They help. They do eat some resources, but they are important to gameplay. Prioritize shadows over everything else, because they're the thing that actually can give you a competitive edge. For all the concepts that we covered, if you have good spatial intelligence, you can figure them out on the fly. Otherwise, if you lack in spatial intelligence, it makes sense to take the time to learn and memorize each of the angles in every single map. Thanks for watching. I hope learnings were accomplished and such. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer.